Hey, I want to thank everybody for um, who watched our 2020 highlights of YouTube for 2020. So it's kind of fun piecing that together. And I encourage you to um, do something similar for your family or whatever. Just kind of put like a little highlight uh, reel together. Um, it could be for YouTube or just uh, just for your family um, themselves. Anyways, we recently did the video, the 41 shirt giveaway. And the guy who bought all the 41 shirts was Ron T. Sawyer. Um, so anyways, uh, he surprised me with a uh, little gift. And that's why we got the smoke going in the background so uh see what we got um and uh thanks for watching click subscribe share with your friends what's this it's a it's a drive shaft for you <laughs> you join thanks for the shirts yeah i'll pull around out back okay you gotta pull it back you gotta open it yeah you gotta open it josh yeah, you open it. oh you probably don't even have a knife today no Ron T. Sawyer. <laughs> it is. It's Ron T. Sawyer. <laughs> there you go. He's got his uh, Fire Striker channel and other stuff. Yeah. Yep. The famous right. grandpa has grandkids said. <laughs> comes bearing gifts. Yep. I want to get you out to do one of these Fire Striker videos. Yeah. <sighs> Excitement. Yes. Excitement. Some fat wood. Oh, yeah. He knows. Oh, <laughs> he's been watching bad, a lot of videos. Bad. Okay, good, good, good. It looks like a toy, but it's not. It's that's, not a toy. That's what oh. ooh, all of them are using. Very cool. Looks like a good deer knife, too. Oh, yeah. That, that holds an edge. Yeah, okay, I don't know what a striker is, guys. Sorry. So this is the striker. And this is, this is the... Yep. Yep. So that'll create the spark to start the fat wood. That's yep. already in the fire. Oh. We'll have to put a link to some of his videos on there. Yeah, I had to. Uh, That's really cool. I, actually, a guy in Michigan. So what's the story on this one? The guy, a guy in Michigan made the handles. Okay. Dark matter, and the the ferro rod actually come from California. Okay. Which is Nathan 4071. Okay. He makes, his ferro rods are the best you can find. And then of course, I, I have mean, separate there's just something with this group that plays with fire. Yeah, last I, night I had to hurry up and put them together. When I was in eighth grade, I got in trouble because we had to make uh, lights with batteries and oh, baby yeah. jars. And I started a fire in one of them, putting tissue in there. I just wanted to see it, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you gotta right. scrape some of the black stuff off. Don't do it in your truck though, you'll start fire. But of course, <laughs> I have mine with me. Yeah. But yeah, you'll but, scrape it off and it'll get it'll get the silver on it. Okay. But then you just watch take the, it. Watch the spark. Put it on that watch edge you. right there. The sharp edge. Yep. Wow, that's cool. And they're I think they're about fifteen hundred degrees, the sparks. Really? Yep. Like a cotton ball. They'll catch a cotton ball just like that. So these ones were the handles were made in Michigan. Yep. And then yep. this part came from a guy in California. California. Yep. And then how about this part, the striker part? That actually come from one of buddies of mine that lives over by Skidway Lake. What is this material? That's high speed steel. High speed steel. And then what's this actual material? I have no idea. Okay. Everybody asks, but it's just a bunch of different metals. Okay. And it's basically the same the same thing on a like a Bic lighter. Yeah. You just, that's actually the same thing. So there's more than one way to skin a cat or start a fire. Yep, yep. <laughs> and, and this here, is old school. That's old school. Yeah. Yep. Not as old as flint and steel, but... It's, but it's pretty close. Yeah. This but is really cool. But if you ever hunting something and get lost, if you have that and that fat wood, you're going to get a fire going. Yeah. I can't wait. You needed well, that the other day, Josh. Days, i got to come over and I'll, I'll run over your house. We just had our uh, hayride and stuff. Uh, you then, should go out there and start the fire. Right there. The A. Yep. And the R. Now it could be for Autumn Road. Yeah, it should. I could have got them for her. Yeah, yeah. See, it's got the A and R. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Actually, it should go that way. It's huh? for me. So Autumn Roads or Adventure Roads. Adventure yep. Roads. Yep. There you go. <laughs> that's so. That's so Autumn can use them every once in a while. <laughs> see, guys. this is the cool part of YouTube, though. It's a cool community. Well, last uh, last night when I got, I just got them last night. 
and he actually, I actually opened two ferrule rods. The guy sent me two ferrule rods. And the Morac, is that right? Miracle? Mora. Mora. Oh, okay. They just call them Mora. Mora. Yep, they're actually made in Sweden. Mora knife, yep. made in Sweden. That's a com that's called a Mora Companion. Wow. Yeah, and everybody's like, man, that look like toys. But I'll tell you what, there, there's a lot of people in the camping bushcraft community that are using them. I think I'll use that for a next uh, deer, deer there. Yeah. Looks really good. Yep. We would we would have traded the shirts for this, you know. Yeah. I. I've been went, wanting to get one for Josh. And so then, now he's going to have some shirts. So if, if, uh, <laughs> if I did something wrong, go after that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys. Ron T. Sawyer. It doesn't get much cooler than that. You know, like, it's almost like a Mark Twain thing. Yeah, Legendary. That's right. Legendary. That's right. Legendary, yeah. Yeah. That's no, awesome. I really appreciate it, buddy. That's is awesome. Yep. Well, is, yep. You just shaved some of that off. Into some of your videos. Your other videos. Whoop, drop them, hanger. Drop them, stuff. Drop them, stuff. Got enough shirts to last for years. You can one, wear a new one each day of the month. <laughs> yep. This one here is from Paris. That's from Mad Dog, and it's actually ceramic. You can actually break them. But yeah, if you once you once you get the coating off, you get the silver. Wow. I mean, it just you can really you can throw a lot of them. Way better than a match. Yeah. Yep. So anyways, I want to thank you, Ron T. Sawyer, for the gift. Really cool item. 
um, we hope to get him on the channel and show us how to really get some fires going and maybe we can look for some uh, fat wood out here at the uh, Rhodes Ranch. So I highly recommend getting yourself a uh, fire striker. It's a really good survival tool even if uh, you have one in your house in case you were to run out of stuff and you need to start a fire out in the yard or cook something. So a uh, really cool item. Uh, get your kids one to play with or whatever. So get them off the video games and uh, get them outdoors. So that was my first time using one. So it's a little bit of getting used to, but uh, like anything, the more you practice, the better you get. The uh, That fat wood is also uh, good to have on hand. It's definitely a good fire starter. Uh, you can trim just a little bit of the shavings off. That's what really gets it going. Or if you save any uh, old uh, dryer lint, you may save, a, save like a Folgers can or something like that full of dryer lint. That stuff takes off really well um, as well.